Welcome back YouTube, this is Gaming Cafe bringing you another episode of LEGO Worlds. This will be part 13 of our series and uh, I had a user request to see a sky base. So we're gonna take a look and create a sky base. So you may be asking what the heck is all of this? Well I'm making a very epic, very very epic intro with a pirate and that background music there's background music super epic background music <laughs> all right yeah so what i decided to do was make a giant ramp as you can see the world is all underneath me with a giant ramp which will be used for part 14 of our lego worlds so let's play yeah i got some stuff in store oh yeah well, for f first of all, another video. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what I created was a nice little sky bridge that you can go from and to the top. And uh, perhaps we'll do some racing on here. What I've got right now is this little buggy. And it's, it's not too fast, but at least it gives me some good handling. But as you can see, you can make all of that pretty crazy pretty crazy stuff so yeah this is this is a gaming cafe and if you guys haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel um, hit that like button if you enjoy the content that I'm bringing you and if you want to see some more just just hitting that like um, lets me know that you enjoy the type of content that I'm bringing and I'll make sure to bring some more so it's just uh, me solo this time around. And hopefully for part 14 I'll be bringing my little one with me some more. Because he absolutely loves the game. So let's take a look. We unlocked a few other items. As you can see, the pirate being one of them. However, the game does not render it correctly. I've had this weird glitch happening to the point where some characters... It doesn't showcase the entire character. See right there? I am missing me leg. I am missing me leg. It looks weird. Super weird. And uh, was it the Yeti? I believe the Yeti is missing um, his head. Yep. And it shouldn't be missing the head. There's the Yeti. Hmm. Yeah, the Yeti. Yeah, it's, it's odd. We did unlock a zombie. And with the zombie, you get some really awesome animations. Rawr! It's crazy zombie animations. And something that blew my mind is when you jump with the zombie, his head comes off. Look at that. Oh, we get the sun setting. Oh, yeah. The zombie with the, with the head that jumps off. Let's bring a vehicle in here, because we need to get to the top quickly. I might fall off, because it, it's kind of hard to drive on here, which is why I was using the buggy. The buggy is pretty good. Good handling. But you can make a giant ramp, just like what you see here. It takes a little bit to make, but once you do, uh, you can get it up here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the, the sky base during the this let's play. So if I don't, make sure to leave some comments as to what you want to see in the sky base. That way I can add add to it. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, I need to... That's a little rough. I need to fix that real quick. Let's go fix that. So you can kind of smoothen out some of the planes like what you see right there. Make it nice and smooth. And oh, my character's fallen. <laughs> oh, and this is something that's been in the game, but I never realized until my four year old son noticed it. And uh, he pointed it out that you actually have an umbrella. Pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, here's the, here's the little empty setup for the sky base. I put a nice little helipad up here so you can. Can just fly up there 
But yeah, let's let's see what we can put in here. Oh, it looks like we got some people randomly spawning up there. Nice. Okay. So let's let's see. Let's see, let's see. First, let's go ahead and add some type of landing strip for a plane. Because that just sounds like a great idea. Especially with how often I use that uh, ghost plane. This is probably the fastest thing that I've come across. Let's make it, uh, sure, right here. That looks good. Oh, and I kind of messed it up a little bit. And it's all good. We'll go back and fix it. Yeah, zoom down, you actually get a much, much faster build construction time. Which, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it does make things go by a whole lot faster. Oh, whoops, that's in the wrong plane. It's a little too high up. No worries, we can fix it. Or, just smooth it out. There we go. Smooth it all nice and out. Perfect. Now, that looks like a ramp. Okay, this zombie's getting a little annoying. Switch it back to... A fisherman. Because he just looks like a construction worker all the time. And now we can paint the landing strip. Let's paint it white. Yeah, that perfect. Mm. It's gonna be a little far from perfect. That individual brick piece right there, it's it's not the same. And uh, my OCD is kind of... I kind of need to change that. It's... <laughs> Don't judge! But, <laughs> at least you, you can see that you can actually do this though, so that's pretty neat. Because the way the painting tool works is it, it actually paints the entire Lego piece. It doesn't just paint a, like a blotch over it. Which is nice. Man, this game is so good looking. Hats off to that team, because they did a great job. And um, to kind of give you some LEGO news, the game is really close to release date, which is why we haven't really seen any news on it. But there, if you followed my last uh, Let's Play that I did, I did leave a comment to one of the users, and I forgot that I had mentioned it during the Let's Play, about a, a link to a blog post. Now in that blog post, there is a couple unreleased uh, screenshots that are in there, showcasing perhaps some DLC of the new Agents Lego brand, which is nice, because it looks like we are going to get some DLC for this. And I don't recall where I read, but there's been reports that some actual physical Lego sets have been uh, including some redeemable DLC for Lego Worlds. Which is not the best direction for this game, but at the very least it lets us know that there will be plenty. Because if they can sell physical product and be able to allow you to, to redeem what you just took home physically and turn it into a digital... Um, medium that that's that's a good way for them to release lots and lots of um, DLC which is nice very very nice hmm let's make a, let's make a tower let's make a tower all the way on the far end right here yeah God, no, no, there we go, perfect, 
perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Um, I would go and swap out the color, but it just, it's very time consuming to do so. I'd rather just paint it once we're done with it. Let's see, is that right about? Yeah, that looks about right. Just eyeballing. That's definitely not right. <laughs> Just a little off. There we go. Okay, now that looks much better. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we got a nice, a uh, nice little post up here with, let's put, um, I don't know. guess what should the building look like? Should have planned ahead. Should have made it a nice little blueprint of, of some sort. Uh, let's just, let's just freestyle it. There we go. Make a nice little entrance right there. Okay, I should probably change the color now that I think about it because it's going to be really hard to see what the heck I'm working with. And let's make it... Titanium? Where is the titanium? Titanium metallic. I like it. Great. That sounds good. Mm, let's make it right there. Could be a big old building. Awesome. And as you can see, my character fell. <laughs> That's one limitation as, as you're building is it physically moves around your in-game character. And from, oh, oh, dang it. From wherever your in-game character is, is uh, where you're positioned in the world. Oh, God, I almost fell. Oh, this is not finished. What the heck? Could have sort of finished it. I guess not. Perfect. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's make let's make this fast. Let's let's, let's start building quickly. There we go. And if you remember from Let's Play Part 11, you can just hold and drag, just like what you see here. Very convenient. Ah, perfect. Very nice. Yeah, once this comes out on PS4, you will definitely see a lot more videos out of me. Because I'm probably going to get a couple copies. That way I can play two players online. Have a big old big screen. And not have to do split screen to where essentially anything that has to do with building is very laggy. Now this is definitely going to take a little while. Yeah, so as far as the videos that I have planned, for part 14, I'm going to try to do something that showcases some of the vehicles in the game. And I'm, I'll am i have my four-year-old play with me on that one. Probably set it up before I get started. Because we did unlock an awesome uh, motorcycle that I'm not going to show you here. I'll give you a slight little taste of it. Let's see. It looks like... 
It looks like this one right here. Check it out. It is awesome. But you know what? I'm not going to ride it because it's probably the fastest vehicle in here. So this is just a small little tease. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Can I not get rid of it? No, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really fast, but I'm not gonna show you that because that's part of level world's part 14. There we go. It's gone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, imagine if they add like up to 16 players online, and you can do like battlefield like online matches. Oh, that'd be so sweet. Or something along the lines of Ark, where you can build your bases and then have uh, gang wars with your different clans or clan wars. Yep, that would be awesome. And they need to add dinosaurs, but so far my most requested uh, creature that they need to add is freaking penguins. Why don't they have penguins? They've got polar bears and regular bear bears. But I don't have penguins. Makes no sense because penguins are amazing. What they also need to add when it comes to if they, if they do decide to add logic to the game is uh, something from uh, Little Big Planet 2 where you can create robots and make the robots um, capture animations so whatever you do the robot does and you can program it to where it, it does certain things like follow you or you can even jump into a controller that allows you to control the robot pretty neat stuff hmm Man, yeah, this is this is gonna be sweet. Look at that. Oh boy, oh boy. And we're gonna need a giant door, but none of these doors look like they're cool. They're pretty lame doors. <laughs> yeah, there's a palace door, but it just doesn't fit the theme. Oh well. I guess we'll leave the palace door. Or maybe, no, let's, let's do no door. This is kind of annoying to open them. Hmm. I should have just done that from the beginning. Because that looks so much easier to build. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, I've seen online a lot of people are just creating using a PC mouse and keyboard. But I know most of who are watching these videos, most of the user base, is is wanting to see what it what it's gonna look like on consoles. So I've stuck to just the controller. Mainly because it's gonna give you the the most relatable experience to what you're gonna have when you take it home on March seventh. Perfect. And right before release, um, I do have something else planned. Um, had the pleasure of pre-ordering a Nintendo Switch. So I will be doing an unboxing and hopefully some uh, let's plays of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild so that's something to look forward to for you Nintendo fans the switch has a terrible launch lineup but Legend of Zelda makes it all worth it let's see 
I really don't know what the heck I'm, I've got planned here. But, uh, we're gonna make it look kinda cool. There we go. Great. I like it. Does it? Why does it do that? What the heck? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Okay, that looks good. Just make it look like it's got some columns. Super super fancy. There we go. Very nice. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Why do you do that? Okay. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh. Ah, that'd be great. Okay, now why would it why would it bring it down? See, ah, oh, it's so hard to predict what the heck the the create tools want to do. Okay, so that's gonna be level one. And we'll leave it right where it's at. Nice. We'll go ahead and close off the second level. And you know, as a, as a kid, as a, when I was growing up, there was something that I that I always wanted to 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 have in a video game, and that's kind of what Lego Worlds is really offering you: is having that creative freedom to just make whatever the heck you want and have it come to life. And it's something that few games have have attempted to do and have done it well. So it's exciting to, to see something like this come out. And under the shadow of something like Minecraft for them to take take their property and follow something that was inspired by their own property and do a nice job with it. This is very nice. Yeah, as you can see, even though like the shape of the piece that I'm placing down isn't doesn't necessarily cover it, uh, it still what it does is it adjusts whatever you need in order to to make up for what you're missing. Okay, so we've got level one done of our sky base. Let's take a look inside. All right. Nice. What are we going to put inside here? All, right, the, all the individual items. Here they are. Oh, I don't think there's anything that really looks like it belongs in a sky base. No. Ice cream. Ice cream belongs here. Yep. Absolutely. You need ice cream. Every sky base needs ice cream. And I wish you could put down some like like a weapons rack or something, because that'd be pretty sick. Hmm. Yep, nothing else. So I've been playing quite a bit of Minecraft with my son, and for some reason he's 
been very fond of placing down heads. So like creeper heads and anything that he could place down in the create mode. Like he'll just put heads all over his houses. It makes no sense and I've asked him multiple times why he's fascinated with them. Man, ooh, ooh, a turtle with a top hat. Yes, this will be, this will be outside making, letting everybody know that this base means business. Cause we have a turtle with a top hat. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh. Oh. Oh no, why did I do that? Okay, that's fine. Dang, that's so cool. Okay. Okay, let's make this look like an outpost. And how do we do that, you ask? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe that. Yep. Make it look like something from Metal Gear. If only we had a soldier that you can knock out in between. Hmm. Oh, and actually, as far as weapons, I haven't come across a sniper rifle. Which I wonder if they would have that in here. It would be pretty cool. Uh, did I mess up somewhere? Hmm. Okay. So why is this one not taking up the full amount? Or is this is? Ah. I see. I messed up. I messed up right there. There we go. That's where I messed up. That needs to go right there. Perfect. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there are some limitations when it comes to building uh, a piece where it wouldn't necessarily fit. So for example, right here, if I place this down, it normally would just create a two-piece, but since, oh no, and they don't have a two-piece that would fit that style. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, hmm. We'll do that. Perfect. Okay. Man, now it just looks off. Yeah, right there, it, it essentially took um, the unique piece that I had on there and then just made it into a standard uh, small section. Which is fine. I guess this is alright. And... Looks like we miscalculated that. Let's go ahead and fix it. With one of these guys. Eh, it's not perfect, but it's there. I like it. No, it's not symmetrical, so that's kind of bothering me a little bit. I guess let's go ahead and make it symmetrical. There we go. Awesome. Now that looks like a like a really big giant outpost. <laughs> cool. Cool cool cool. And let's see where the landing strip takes us. Yeah, see you can have some awesome air 
battles with this. If you had sky bases, you had online multiplayer up to 16 players. <laughs> I can only imagine the awesomeness they would be. But all right, so um, that's probably gonna wrap up the sky base for now. Probably add a little bit more things to it. And let's take a, a little bit of a break from the sky base. Now let me show you something else. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I've been playing. I've been playing a little bit, just exploring, checking out some more items, and uh, one of which is. Oh yeah, the king. We unlocked the king. We finally found the sword that we needed to unlock the king. And uh, as from what I've noticed, is they've added a little bit of uh, like a quest system, so you may come across like an explorer kind of like a no, not an explorer it's a paleontologist or the yeah so somebody like this lady right here who loves to dig up uh, fossils and what they've done is they've added the ability for you to take one of these little props like let's say a yeah, small skull and you would place it down and then you would take that character of whom would have a nice little bubble above her letting you know that uh, one of the quests that she has in order for you to earn some studs is taking a picture of her so you can take a picture of her while next to a fossil and this gives you a slight indication that they've they're planning on adding a lot more quests so you'll have some side quests to achieve. It'll let it be something like, hey, take a picture of me with uh, the fossils right next to me. And that would accomplish a task. There's another one that I saw where um, you had a Yeti. And he wanted you to uh, remove the polar bear from a cage that he was in. And once you did that, regardless of how you did it, it you would uh, gain some coins from it. Oh, okay, so we had the prop, but we didn't have the actual ice cream. Now we do. Cool. Yeah, as far as characters, I haven't found uh, the Dracula. And that's, that's definitely one that I'm missing. I'm still missing it. Because each, there are some, some minifigures that have uh, certain skills that others don't. So, for example, the wizard can shoot fireballs. Yep, a wizard shoots fireballs. And who else? Who else? Who else? You've got the. What does the mummy do? Does mummy do anything? <laughs> it's just like the skeleton. It just uh, makes the noises and does some pretty sweet 360s <laughs> I guess in, unless you're holding an item okay yeah so we have the mummy we've also got oh the deep sea diver and if uh, one of you was asking me whether or not you can drown in the game so let's go ahead and test that. Let's let's get in the let's get in the ghost plane and head up there. Which was this the ghost plane we were using? Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and use the landing strip, which functions in no way, shape, or form. It's just there for looks. So the reason why I switched to the deep sea diver is because uh, he can breathe underwater, although I haven't tested any other character to see if they would drown. Nice thing about this guy is he walks underneath water. So you can actually just walk like a, like as if you're walking on land. Makes it super convenient when you're searching for treasure or checking out some of the underwater areas. 
but let's see if a fisherman drowns. And the answer to that question is, it looks like they do drown. Because if you notice in the top left hand corner, my health has now become blue and it's slowly decreasing. So even though it's a fisherman who's known to be very fishy, because he likes to fish, he cannot breathe underwater. Poor guy. Yep, it looks like I'm about to die. Yep, um, and he... <laughs> so you can drown. Wow. Oh, and it spawned me back up here on the base. Cool. Super cool. All right, let's switch over to let's switch over to the zombie because I do like the animation for the zombie. Yeah. And oh, yeah. So this is the umbrella that you could that you can parachute from. Yep. Pretty neat stuff. Well, we've got a little bit of water over here. I'm going to test out another little theory. This is something that I came across while just exploring some of the just uh, offline. Is I found a black octopus, which I shall show you in just a second. Oh, <laughs> see, that's attention to detail that you just got to admire because the zombie is dead. So he's not going to drown because he's dead. Cause he's a dead zombie. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. Does the skeleton drown? Logically, he wouldn't drown. Cause he's already dead. Wow. This game is awesome. Paintball player is gonna drown. Yep, he is. Who else is gonna drown? Does the gingerbread man die? No, oh, he does. I guess cause he is. A, he's a real boy. Who else drowns? Zombie girl does not. Oh, zombie, yeah, zombie girl does not. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, and by unlocking the king, we unlocked a blue cape. Yup, our cape game is on point because we now have two capes. Doesn't get any better than that. The dragon wizard does drown. Okay. Nice. Okay, back to what I was going to show you just a little, little bit ago. Um, this black octopus. I want to say when I encounter the black octopus, I think it either poisoned or instantly killed my character. Which, let me switch over to the deep sea diver. Yeah, because I believe when I got near the black octopus, it cost me to, to die. Why are they all up in... up there? Huh. That's weird. Okay. They do not want to go on the bottom. weird this isn't this is just a small little lake so maybe that's why maybe that's why they're not going all up all the way down there let's just get a helicopter and head over to the actual ocean because that might be a little bit different yeah this helicopter is super slow I'm curious if that little hook in the back, if you can actually pick up items. I haven't I haven't found anything that it uh, interacts with, so I'm going to say it doesn't. But to this day, I'm still finding out new things that I haven't come across. So, you never know. Oh, there's an octopus right there. Okay, let's see. But this is the, this is the red one. Okay. Yeah, I could have sworn when I was exploring that the black octopus caused me to die instantly when I came across it. 
and it caused my um, deep sea diver to turn into a skeleton from the inside which is pretty neat if that is a gameplay mechanic that if you come across like uh, dangerous creatures under sea they could kill you instantly or maybe poison you I don't know okay yeah there's not much else down here okay Yeah, compared to something like Minecraft and how it uh, really lacks an underwater biome of sorts, I know they've they've added, I believe, underwater temples. I haven't I haven't really checked them out yet, uh, but it's nothing like this. Like this is pretty nice, and they do have some actual temples that you can go in, and I think this is a cave system, which caves are actually not very functional because there's no light inside of them it's really hard to see let's head back up to the top oh ah, yeah what is that noise there's something going on something magical i wonder what that is It's the broom. It's the broomstick. The broomstick makes that noise. Interesting. Neato. I don't know why I never realized that. Okay. I'm always finding something new. And with the full release, they have they have so many items that they need to add that it's it's gonna feel like playing a brand new game. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is pretty freaking cool. They also have a a bigger uh, submarine, which I'm curious if it offers uh, two two players to go inside of it. Yeah, I don't know if I showcased the square foot, but there's square foot right there, and he's got a camera because the way to you unlock it is by taking a picture of it. But unfortunately, the game doesn't register that I have it unlocked. Yeah, it won't even let me buy it. Like, I don't, no, it did let me buy it, but it doesn't let me change to any of its... Like, customize my character to look like him. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Oh, well. Oh, that blue cape is awesome. Okay. And this is probably the part that you guys have been waiting for. Because I'm probably going to make my thumbnail after. Because it's got to be the coolest item in the game. And that is what I thought originally to be part of full release. But I guess it's in here. I didn't think it would be. And let me show you what that is. You ready? Where is it at? I don't know where, where, where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. It's a soccer ball! <laughs> Look at this! This thing is cool! It is so freaking cool. Yeah, they've got a soccer ball. With unique animations, depending on how you're... How you're moving, how fast you're moving, what character you're using. Everything is nice. Look at that. You can essentially use it as a weapon. It's not very powerful, but you can use it as a weapon. Oh God, oh God, I gotta go. <laughs> See, and if you're going fast enough, you're rolling on top of it, like the Hobbit style. So freaking cool. And you may be wondering, can you play, can you play soccer with a Zogger ball? Um, so far the answer is no, unfortunately. I was trying it out through split screen to see if it would let me pass the ball back and forth between my son and I, and it doesn't do it. It's, it looks like the, 
that the object is tied to whoever, whichever character picked it up. And I don't think you can just go up to one and pick one up. Let's see. Yeah, see, I can't. Oh, I guess you can move it around. Oh, never mind. I wonder what it was then that that didn't that it looked like we couldn't really play soccer with it. Oh, nice. Well, let's make a little soccer field right here. Nice little soccer field right in the middle of the woods. Oh, I went one too far deep. Dang it. It's so hard to judge it. Oh well. Okay. And I'm gonna have to raise that other part to it as well. Yeah, see, it looks like it disappears after a certain amount of time, so. Oh, hmm. it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, in games like Disney Infinity, you you can com make uh, your nice little soccer field, and it, it came out pretty nice. So I'm sure they'll they'll do something along the lines of that here. There we go. Let's go ahead and paint it. And make sure it looks looks good. I don't think I don't think there's any like a uh, net looking tools. Nope. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Let's see. At the very least, we can make a uh, what. Goalpost looks like. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright, we'll, we'll say that looks like a goalpost. Kind of looks like it. Just a little bit. And transparent white. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Wow. That sort of looks like a goalpost. Sort of. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Looks awful. Hmm. Oh, I 
that extends out exactly one? Oh, dang it. Ah, eh, whatever. It looks fine. It's kind of hard to see what shape this has. Due to just the, the... For, because it's transparent. Okay. I'm pretty sure now it doesn't look like a call post anymore. Oh. Yeah, you can spend so much time in this game just messing around. Building stuff that... Uh, yeah. Like, for example, right there. Why Why would I make that? I could just make a, just a, a tall two section. And it would be, it would be so much better. But I didn't think about it until now. Eh. Sure, we'll call it that a go post. And let's see. Yeah. So if you if you were to add logic, you can make it so that as soon as it hits that area, you get a point. Or you get some type of stud. What else did we unlock? We unlocked a whole bunch of new um, items. Like, look at this shield. It's a Roman shield. It has no features though. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks really cool. We also unlocked. Uh, oh, a pyre bomb, which functions the same way as uh, dynamite. So you can toss it, and it just explodes. Very neat. We unlocked a couple extra bows. So we've got a bow as well as a crossbow. Oh, see, look at that. Okay. So that's what I was talking about. So we've got a caveman who wants a picture of him next to a campfire or a fire in general, which uh, we should have over here somewhere. I just gotta find it. Where is it? Here it is. Here's the campfire. No, he wants a bonfire. Okay. Alrighty then, caveman. Let me go ahead and get my fancy camera. What kind of camera, you may ask? Oh. I'm gonna say it's, it looks like an Alpha A7R Mark II mirrorless Sony camera. <laughs> yeah, it kinda looks like it. Alright, Caveman, let's take a picture of you. Alright, buddy. Come on, look at the camera. There we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. Awesome. And the framing of the shot's kind of bad. Let's see. But he's not even looking this way. Come on. Come on, Kevin. There we go. Cool. Cool beans. And what happened? Something happened. Something broke. Oh, God. I broke the game. Uh. Yeah, it looks, it looks like I did break it. Because now my minimap's gone. And the caveman, where the heck are you? It's gone. Okay, you want a picture. But you need to come over here, bro. Alright, okay, so you want the picture, too. Yeah, you see the small little highlights around it? Yeah, so now you come over here and you hand him the picture. 
pretty cool stuff. Yeah. So uh, that would be a side quest that you'd probably encounter later on. Now, for some reason, after you do this, it messes up, and I gotta restart it because it won't let me remove the camera from my quick menu. Yeah, just like what you see right there. Yeah. Oh man, looks like it's stuck. Okay. Let's see. Did I fix it? No. I am stuck holding a camera forever. <laughs> I am now a full-time photographer. Yes! That's all I ever wanted to be. <laughs> oh, what's up, square foot? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him posing and everything. He knows what's good. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a couple of these items for another video. Like that right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna wrap up uh, Let's Play Part 13. Let me know what you guys think and make sure you leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, hit the like button, because it helps me out tremendously. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for watching. That's uh, Gaming Cafe. I will see y'all in a few days. No, no not really, because you know, it's through YouTube. It's on a video. But I'll talk to you later. Bye.